Cole. Hello everyone, punch. it is the Farrakhan Punch, Mr. Falcon Punch, 996, the underrated king, the recommendation master, and of course YouTube's number one Doro Hidoro fanboy, back to bring you guys another new video. And today's video is going to be another anime recommendation for the anime series known as Ninja Nonsense. Ninja Nonsense is pretty much about ninjas and their nonsense, and it's pretty funny, so you should watch it. Alright, and now it's time to wrap up this video. As always, I am Mr. Falcon Punch 996 Like, comment, subscribe, and... Okay, okay, I'll do it for real this time. Ninja Nonsense, like most comedy series, doesn't have much of a story. Rather, it's just a bunch of the wacky adventures of the ditzy ninja in training Shinobu, along with her other fellow ninjas, her perverted and not-so-talented Pac-Man blob-like ninja master on Sakamaru, and Shinobu's non-ninja friend Kaide. Now, comedy is pretty much the only reason she even watches this anime, which luckily for Ninja Nonsense, it is pretty good. While not exactly Gintama-tier material, you're bound to get a laugh or two out of the crazy ninja shenanigans the characters get themselves into. The comedy itself, while contrasting with its cutesy appearance, is mainly either perverted or random, with some parodies thrown in here and there. This anime also features a good dosage of light fan service, as well as just a bit of your- <coughs> Yeah, Shinobu, get in that bathtub. Yeah, they they just slipped. <laughs> uh, excuse me. As for characters, Shinobu and Kaide are fine, despite their little relationship. However, they both come out a teeny bit plain when compared to the ones who actually do take the spotlight in the series, which are Onsakumaru and the other ninjas. Uh, they really don't have names. One of them's named Sasuke, but I'll let you guys figure out which one he is. The other ninjas and Sasuke are pretty much the best representation of the series, as their antics and random conversations cause for a good majority of the nonsense in the series. Sometimes I just like thinking of them as not so badass or deadly ninja versions of Deadpool, which make them all the more hilarious. Ansakumaru, on the other hand, is a character whom normally I'd hate. He's loud, obnoxious, and a super perverted troublemaker. However, there's just something about him that I just couldn't bring myself to hate. Maybe it's the fact that in both Japanese and English audio, he has two amazing voice actors backing him up. With his Japanese voice actor being Wakamoto Norio, who's best known for his roles as Cell, Vicious, and Charles Z. Britannia. Along with his English voice actor being Sean... Shekmel? Shmel? Uh... You know what? Screw it. He's voiced by fucking Goku. Which was a bit surprising at first since he doesn't have that many roles in other anime series. Nonetheless, it was a pleasure to hear him in this series, plus it was pretty cool of how different his voice could sound. Though at times in this series, just a bit of Goku leaks out every now and then. This is a true story that happened in this very room the other day. It was a hot and humid night, just like this one. You're so hot! So how am I supposed to sleep when it feels like a furnace in here? I wanted everyone to see how adorable I look when I'm sleeping. Overall, Ninja Nonsense is an anime series I recommend to people looking to get a good couple laughs out of ninjas and their nonsense. And now it's time to wrap up this video for real this time. As always, I am Mr. Falcon Punch 996 Like, comment, subscribe, as well as check out this anime series. And if you haven't done any of that yet, you will be Falcon Punch in the face, so you better do it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.